We've been looking for a way to uh, make our live shows more hands-on. I, I really missed the, uh, being able to use my hands and to manipulate sounds live and, and we were really restrained by the computer. I think my movement into getting interested in the modular was inspired by looking for another way to be able to manipulate sound live, real time, and feel like I was really controlling the sounds that we were making. I definitely think that um, people are looking for something more authentic outside of the virtual world. That's in part how I, um, I got into it as well too, just being frustrated by being in front of a computer screen and, and finding that really unsatisfying. And I'm a very hands-on, tactile person and to feel stuck at the computer, even with a controller to operate it, it feels really um, limitating and I wanted something that was a bit more, it was a bit more raw to use and had uh, different possibilities for the, the sound, the range in the sound as well too. The idea of being able to start with one completely simple sound like the oscillator and to, to change everything about it with your, um, by hand and, and you can manipulate everything. All, like with the modular you have all the separate units which control every aspect of the sound and um, none of it's um, predetermined. You control everything with the sound and I really like that idea of being able to create it from the ground up. and create something completely different that you, know, you weren't going to get from running it through, say, a series of pedals. I have found no limitations so far with the modular. What I'm doing with it is rhythmic patterns that are created through the movement of the, the sounds through the modular. So it creates something that'll spark a new idea for a track or a rhythm, and kind of working through a drone that, that changes as, as, it, as it goes on so I can manipulate it. So I like that aspect of the system that I have. When she started getting into the modular systems, that was that was sort of a breath of fresh air. And we've always had sort of, you know, additional gear, like little feedback circuits or, um, you know, smaller synths that we bring along. But um, adding that to the studio and adding it to the live show has been uh, really good and, and, and bringing back that kind of physical element. When I, I bought the modular, the idea was I want to have this to play with live, so I, I sort of set out in my mind, I, I, okay, I'm prepared, I have to be prepared to take this thing with me. And so kind of building a case that was going to be suitable to take on flights and be prepared to maybe lose a couple of modules. There's a certain tendency when you are using the computer to make everything perfect. And when the modular is brought in or other external gear, you can't make it sound exactly the same, so you have to work with it more like an improvisation with sort of a rough plan of where we're going to go and uh, that's so much more fun. Sometimes you run into uh, issues and it doesn't always work out but when it does um, I, I love being able to work with that live and have that even that feeling of, of um, chance to like oh it might not work out it, it might screw up. People appreciate, when we do a live show, I think we have a number of people that, that come up and they really appreciate the fact there's some risk involved with it um, and they like that and they like to be able to see um, someone manipulating something on stage as well too. Um, so I think that there's energy back and forth between the audience and as a performer as well.